Those of us who prefer the window seat use it as a chance to get some good views. Looking out of the window, you may notice there's not much separating you from the open air. While you're sitting on a flight, there's really only a couple of inches between you and the metal skin of the airplane. What is contained behind the cabin wall panels and how thick is the wall that envelops all of that? The windows of the airplane are made up of multiple layers. The inner pane of the window is only about five millimeters or 0.2 inches thick and the outer layer is 10 millimeters or 0.4 inches thick, according to GKN, a manufacturer of aircraft windows. Both panes are covered by a scratch layer, preventing passengers from touching them. Behind the cabin panels around the windows, you would find wires and thermal insulation. And like the name suggests, it insulates the passengers from the icy temperatures of high altitudes, as well as noise from the engines. The insulation in planes has to withhold high fire safety protocols, since in some cases, the insulation led to or intensified crashes. In the case of Swiss Air 111, a fire started in the cockpit and the insulation caught fire, which led to a crash in 1998. We have a link to our episode on this incident in the description. This preventable crash helped lead to higher flammability standards from the FAA in 2003. Surrounding the insulation is the airframe of the plane, which is like a skeleton for supporting the structure of the aircraft. Beyond the insulation, there's the skin of the aircraft, which is the only real thing protecting you from the open air. The skin is the outermost layer of an airplane that everyone is familiar with. It's, you know, what you see when you actually look at the airplane from the outside. Its name is very apt because the skin is shockingly thin. They're even thinner than the window. The skin of a Boeing 757 is only about 0.99 millimeters or 0.04 inches at its minimum. And the skin of a Boeing 747 is only about 1.5 millimeters or 1 16th of an inch thick, which we were actually able to measure ourselves because we actually have some 747 skin. Ew. Most aircraft have skin just as thin as these two planes. It's crucial that planes maintain this thickness because the aircraft could become too heavy, and if the skin is too thin, cracks could form. The thin skin of airplanes is perfectly safe, but must be routinely checked for fatigue cracks. Stress is put on the metal during takeoff and landing, since the fuselage must expand and contract to pressurize and depressurize. The fatigue cracks start microscopically small before they are visible. If these cracks go undetected, they can grow and cause an explosive decompression mid-flight. A famous case occurred in 1988 with Aloha Airlines Flight 243 when a fatigue crack caused the ceiling to detach from the rest of the aircraft. The fatigue crack was undetected during maintenance and grew until it failed and caused the rapid disconnect. But ever since this accident, aircraft maintenance has been much more diligent about detecting small fatigue cracks, so don't worry, you'll still remain perfectly safe behind the thin skin of an aircraft.